Hi folks, it was about three years ago when I shared with you guys a video introducing the EndoSync handpiece and the EndoSync AI by Brassler USA. And as you know, this Apex Locator handpiece combination has been quite popular over the past couple of years and I've made a few videos showcasing its use and its proprietary motion called OTR. Recently, the EndoSync was updated to EndoSync Plus, which physically looks identical to the EndoSync, but packs a couple of new features which I want to talk to you about in this video. Now, I know that everyone is super busy, so let me get straight to the point and show you the main features of the EndoSync Plus before we get into this video. The original EndoSync was a programmable forward rotary motion handpiece synced with its own apex locator called EndoSync AI. And this combination was excellent for instrumentation and length determination using conventional rotary files such as the EndoSequence, ESX, and all the other files. And this handpiece introduced a brand new proprietary motion called OTR, which involved forward rotation with a reverse 90 degree kind of relief cutting action when uh, a programmed torque limit was reached. This motion resembles reciprocation, but unlike reciprocation, it's torque sensitive. Effectively, classical asymmetrical reciprocation motion involves a file that rotates back and forth according to a set forward and reverse angle. But during OTR, the file will rotate 360 degrees in a rotation motion and then only begins to reciprocate if this programmed torque limit which you program into the handpiece is reached. This makes OTR much more efficient than reciprocation since rotation is a more efficient cutting action but it adds the safety of the reciprocation motion. In EndoSync, five torque limit settings are available for the operator during the forward OTR motion. In one of my previous videos, I referred to the OTR motion as smart rotation rather than OTR because the term OTR was obviously developed by engineers, but a term like smart rotation now is something that would make sense to a clinician like myself. By the way, throughout this video and also any future videos that I'm going to make, whenever I mention forward motion, I'm actually referring to clockwise direction of rotation. And when I talk about reverse, I'm actually referring to a counterclockwise direction of motion. So please make a note of that for this video as well as all the future videos. So essentially the endosync rotates in a forward direction with OTR as a feature of its motion. Since the release of the endosync about three years ago, the endosequence reciprocating file, also called ESR, was also launched. And much like other reciprocating files, such as Reciproc and Wave 1 Gold, the ESR file was designed to cut in reverse direction. And this is the main reason why EndoSync was updated to EndoSync Plus, featuring reverse OTR for reverse cutting files like ESR, as well as any other reciprocating file. Furthermore, instead of just putting a fixed reciprocation angle in this handpiece, I had a more ambitious plan of incorporating reverse OTR instead of reciprocation and also have an open OTR platform for the users on this handpiece so that the more astute clinicians that have more experience could program and fine tune the angles of reciprocation to their exact needs rather than having a fixed asymmetrical reciprocation angle dictated by the manufacturer in their handpiece. So I worked closely with the manufacturer over the past couple of years and after a number of prototypes and clinical tests, Here's EndoSync Plus with its new motion, Reverse OTR. Now, Reverse OTR is basically the same safe and efficient motion that you used to in the original EndoSync, but now EndoSync Plus adds a Reverse OTR to the original EndoSync's forward OTR motion. This opens up the use of the EndoSync Plus for all conventional files in the clockwise direction or in the forward direction, as well as all the reciprocating files out there on the market, including the ESR that cut in the reverse direction. But what's more exciting is that the new open platform on the OTR, which I wanted for this handpiece, will allow you, the clinician, to decide what flavor of OTR you want and program and change the angles of rotation and reciprocation 
all at the same time in any angle that you want in a forward or reverse direction based on your taste and your needs for balance of safety and efficiency during a given case or a given operation. Now, this functionality alone makes EndoSync Plus unique and a very powerful tool in your clinical repertoire. Now, let me explain this again. You can program this handpiece to do OTR, or in my words, smart rotation, in either forward direction for your conventional files or in the reverse direction for all your reciprocating files. Now, combine this with its lightweight cordless capability and also its ability to sync with the EndoSync AI, which has a proven Apex Locator technology, and you have a very powerful, fully customizable tool in your hands. Of course, for the novice users who have no interest in exploring the full customization of EndoSync Plus, the handpiece comes with six pre-programmed factory settings, which I recommended based on my clinical testing and includes settings for the entire endosequence line of files, the ESR, and even the 3D files. But remember that you can always overwrite and custom program your own personal settings over these presets if you prefer. Lastly, based on the popular demand, there's also now a lock button setting, so you don't accidentally change the memory settings on these um, you know, pre-programmed memories if you accidentally touch this plus and minus button on the side just by holding it. Now, this is also, in my opinion, at least from my clinical experience, a great ergonomic improvement. I will be making more detailed videos to showcase the menus and other functionality of this EndoSync Plus, which promises to address the safe rotation needs of novice and advanced clinicians in both forward and in the reverse direction. I hope this video was helpful to you, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, I'm Ali Nase, and let's save some tea.